I have a tool for this. I have a tool for this. March 1st, it's crazy, it's literally the first of the month. Literally got shades on because I just came back from um, walking the kids. Um, hair is looking like, yeah. Um, but this is the last day. We're going to be looking a mess because we are starting birthday prep today. I was gonna say literally a week away, but yesterday. <laughs> made a week away from the big two five but I look like so busted like I got like vampire bite on my forehead don't know where that popped up from so we got a lot to do um my birthday was me up from when my brother visited like yeah so we are like, we have a weekend, a weekend of things that need to be done to prep, to get myself together, to get my life together, all of the above. Um, today, um, it's 8.23, so I have some time before work, but I'm going to start cleaning my house, and yeah... I need Jesus. But I start cleaning my house, um, put everything in the trash. I need to go through the refrigerator, sweep, mop the floors, rearrange some stuff. Um, start laundry. And then I have to go get blood work, which is gonna like break up my day. I have to go in like the middle of the day to get blood work. And then I don't know if I just want to work remote for the rest of the day. Like work somewhere else the rest of the day or come back here. Because what I need to do the rest of the day, I'm either going to do on the north side. Or I have to go to the south side. I have to go to St. John's. Because there's a good couple stores I need to go to. Oh, and guys, like, I feel like every year something happens. Like, something happens, like, around my birthday, whatever. Last year, I had, like, a hair mishap. But, like, shout out to my stylist. She was great. And then this year, I thought, like, I prepped prepped and planned everything like well ahead and well well ahead yeah whatever but you know things just always go awry sometimes but we pivot that's what we do we we handle things accordingly and we pivot we don't freak out because things are gonna work out you know in the moment you might be like you know what the heck but we always pivot so yeah I thought I ordered everything well in advance so i'm doing a photo shoot on sunday which consists of three different looks um and i wanted like to look a certain way like i wanted a certain look um so i had to order a backup dress last night for like my main dress that i have no idea where it is tracking yeah and then now I have to do a plan B for my hair because the hair that I ordered, like they sent me the wrong thing. So I had ordered a closure wig plus bundles, but they sent me a closure plus bundles, which is not what I wanted because I like like really full wigs, so I add like additional bundles even to the wigs to make it like even fuller. I don't know, whatever. But I just like 500% density, like crazy like that. So sent me the wrong things, and they sent out the wig, which is supposed to be here today. Not gonna be here today. It's actually gonna be here tomorrow. My appointment 
to get my hair done is tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning. It says it's not gonna get here until the hours of nine and 1 p.m. So that's not gonna fly because I still have to like prep, wash, all of that to the hair and actually sew the bundles into the hair. So we're gonna go with the plan B. Um, I'm going to pivot. So I have a backup dress if my main dress doesn't come on Sunday and then gonna have backup hair and then I'll just have an extra wig. You know, it'll just be what it's just gonna be. Um, I'm not going to like freak out whatever. Like I literally want 25 this year to just go in like at peace, go in like calm, centered. I wanna be relaxed. I'm gonna be a quarter century like I just want to go in like just you know just chill so yeah we're pivoting but i do need to go run and get like little things to do like my maintenance because i need to do my maintenance tonight because then tomorrow i'm going to be gone right after my hair appointment and then i need to be ready for pictures on sunday so we got some running around to do got some work to do got to launch we got like a big launch um that kind of kicks off conference championships march madness which is gonna be madness um for all of those in sports marketing shout out to y'all around this time of year because it's literal madness so i was like that my birthday's in march because it's like the calm before the madness so that's why i don't mind that's why i don't mind it so much um so yeah i feel like i just had a whole bunch of nothing but y'all are just gonna come along with me um this weekend for birthday prep <laughs> okay guys we are home it's now 5 50. i was gonna bring you guys with me but i was catching up with my best friend we haven't talked in like a minute so i was talking to her as i was running around doing my errands stuff like that but i got everything like i'm not gonna need nothing for like the month of march so love that but we're gonna unbag everything. I was gonna say unbox, but there's nothing to unbox. So we're going to unbag. So I'm gonna put you guys here. I'm gonna move <coughs> my backpack. This is decent. But um, went to Tarjay. Got a cute clip because I've been wearing whatever clip. So I got a cute clip. I finally got my hands on the Via Ray Prosecco wine. So this is gonna be my birthday wine. Um, last time I tested it was New Year's and the shelves were cleared out, but it was in stock. So Issa, we're gonna see what it does. And then went to Ulta and got the Capari if I'm saying that right, um, sunscreen mist. Thank you for Regina and Jaden for putting me on to this brand. Um, it smells amazing and I can't wait to put this on. Lay out in the beach in the sun, glistening baby. And then re-upped on my serum. So got the Good Molecules Discoloration Serum, Ordinary Salicylic Acid, Ordinary Niacinamide and then got the best mascaras there are to get the Essence mascaras. Shout out to Carly for putting me on to these mascaras. Hell yeah. Then went to my flower market and got me, made me a bouquet. Um, Jacksonville Flower Market, you can just pick up your own stem. So I got some burgundy or like deep red carnations this time and baby's breath. Last time I got red ones, but this time I got dark red ones. Um, just red flowers in my bathroom because my bathroom is like gray. It just makes the whole bathroom pop. Next thing, went to Ross. It wasn't on the list, but Ross is my comfort store. We all have a comfort store. Ross is my comfort store. Um, I got, don't mind the box, it's all beat up. But the face globes, I'm going to put these in the freezer because we're going to do a maintenance night tonight. 
Um, I also got some other skincare tools. Um, I've been upset. Well, you guys know I'm obsessed with skincare, but I've been like trying to get different tools so you I use like my hands less. Um, and then I use like an exfoliating rag now. So I got these exfoliating rags. So I have a couple more and they are eucalyptus infused, which is even nice. I got Fenty, an Eddie Bauer rain jacket. This is so cute. Leon has a reversible one, so it's only right that Fenty had one, especially because Florida is raining all the time. And Fenty hates rain. Yes, Papa. Fenty hates rain. She does not like walking, stepping foot outside if it's wet outside. So I got her rain jacket with the hood so she can go outside with me on and then i'm also trying to find them like extra small rain booties so they'll be okay too then just got dove um the bath bars yes yes papa oh i think he wants my chick-fil-a cookies which he can't have and then i just got um pet wipes to wipe their paws for when they come from outside and it's wet and stuff like that It'd be disgusting. And I don't want them tracking it all around the house. Then I went to Beauty Depot and got me the new Ebon. Even. Oh, y'all shifted. Went to Beauty Depot, got the black one. Shout out Caitlin for putting me on to the black one. I used to use the yellow one, but I didn't know that there was a difference in strength based off of color. I got Maui um, shampoo and conditioner. This is what I use to wash my natural hair. Um, Maui worked really well on my hair. I got some clips to hold my hair back when I get it done. I got some more lashes because we're gonna see if um, they last. Papa, no, baby. We're gonna see if they last. I used to do like lash extensions all the time, like back in the day. I think I have like during COVID, I think I filmed a video on here of me, like a, tour a tutorial of me doing my lashes. But now I'm at the point where like, I like my face bare and I rip those things out. Sorry to any lash tech. I rip those out of my eyes so fast because they like, I don't know, I just like having a naked face and I don't like the feeling of having anything on my eyes. Leon, Dominic. He has to get his woman out of the office. Um, and then I got the Maui, this woman. That's, that's sheep. That's, that's who he was crying because she was locked in my office. Uh, then I just got the Maui hair mask. I got time tonight. I'm actually going to take my time doing washing my hair, putting on a mask, letting it sit, stuff like that. I got some new tweezers because you can just never have enough tweezers. Um, some more uh, individual eyelash extension glue because I couldn't remember if I had some or whatever. I rack up on lashes lash extensions i just rack up on everything i have like every concealer color stuff like that just to have when like the girls come if i'm doing somebody's makeup whatever and then i just got more edge wrap instead of using my band um and yeah then i bought chick-fil-a so that's everything that i got i'm going to put everything away and because i've been on the phone with my best friend for like six hours um I'm gonna go call everybody who called me. Now that I'm home and like settled and stuff like that, I'm gonna go call everybody who called me and put all of this stuff away. Guys, <laughs> look at how much hair I have. Like, it's crazy. My fro is crazy. I love it though. Like, when you see how far it's come, um, I used to relax my hair for like years, years, because my hair has always been so hard like to manage. So I relaxed my hair until literally COVID. 
literally COVID. And I had like head fella hair like this. Um, but it would be like fully relaxed. So it would be not as like tight as this, but still a full lion's mane. And then come COVID, I was like, everything shut down, makes no sense to um, try to like keep up with my hair because I would always go to a hairstylist because my mother never taught us how to do hair. So I would just be sent to a hairstylist and I was like, there's no hairstylist right now. Let's go natural, you know, now's the perfect time. So I did not do the big chop. I did not do the big chop. I just did like, I would let my hair grow out and then I would just like trim it down like little by little. So I started off with like a small like fro and then I would just like slowly just keep cutting it, cutting it. Um, so that was what, 2019 was COVID. And now we're in 2024 and my hair is completely natural. Like, do I know what to do with it? No, but there are people, there are specialists, curly hair specialists that know exactly what to do with it. So this is my hair braids fully like taken out. So I'm going to wash it. My hair is so soft, like it feels so good. Um, I'm going to detox my scalp and wash it and then I'm going to put a hair mask in and then we'll do skincare. We are masked up. It's 10 30. It's 10 30. Y'all can't see, whatever. But we're gonna let this sit. And I'm going to sit and do some quick work. Watch Love is Blind. Catch up on that. And yeah, then we're gonna wash all of this off and then blow dry the hair. I don't even know like what time it is. But I'm on the phone with um friends and my boyfriend. But like, look at how long I'm like breaking my back trying to do this. Like, you can't really see. And let me see. Okay. Look like. I don't want my tippy toes. How long? My hair, mind you, it definitely needs to be trimmed, but like for reference, I can see how long my hair is. The hair is blown. It's blown, blown out. It looks crazy, crazy. But um, shout out to all of the stylists that have ever done my hair. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I uh, greatly apologize for all of the hair on my head. I apologize to my stylist doing my hair tomorrow. I apologize to Caitlin. <laughs> I apologize to everyone that has ever touched my hair. Good morning, beautiful people. Um. It's 8.13, I got up, I um, took the kids out and got ready to go. I just put on like some concealer and mascara because I'm gonna put on a tiny bit of blush. 
um, because I want to take content or make content um, while I get my hair done. Um, one, because I like making content, especially for local um, local people. And my stylist had like posted on her um, on her social media that she wanted to start like making more content and stuff for just you know just for her business and stuff and this content creator <laughs> um i want to help out so i'm going to make content while i'm there i usually don't make like any content when i get my hair done except for like when i get braids um because my other content creator, Caitlin, likes to have her hair content. So, and I love, you know, making content. Like, this is fun for me. Um, so I definitely wanna, you know, why not make content? Like, I'm just be sitting there anyway, probably editing, um, doing some work that I need to get done anyway. So I just did something, oh, you guys can't really see. But I just did something light, come on kids. I just, it's, oh my gosh, I always do this. I always be zooming in. But I just did something light because I'm not doing a whole full face um, going to no hair store. That's, I mean, going to no hair appointment. That's not happening. Um, I'm still obsessed with my hair. So yeah, we're about to go. Head to the ATM first because I did not last night unfortunately forgot i'm gonna head to the atm and then we're gonna go to my hair appointment this is exactly what i wanted like body layers curls like she she did that she did that i don't want to mess it up i'm already messing it up but yeah like she did that so i definitely have to make sure um <clears throat> i need to go get some flexi rods so i can preserve this <clears throat> for my shoot tomorrow <clears throat> my lord jesus um but i'm like so happy like all i wanted to do for my birthday was look good and i knew like i knew i was not gonna be disappointed i knew it was not gonna be disappointed um so it's almost 11 it's 10 52 I'm going to head home, eat, and then <clears throat> get ready. I probably have like a half hour drive, um, half hour drive home. And then I'm going to let the kids out again. And then I'm going to, yeah, get ready to hit the road to drive and see my friend Carolyn. Happy Sunday, guys. Um, yeah. So, I ended up staying in West Palm for the night because it just ended up being late. We ate, ended up being late, and just safety. And yeah. So, I just got back, got settled. Guys, I asked a friend to make, she's like an amazing baker, cook, everything. I asked her to make my cake not just you know for my birthday but for my pictures because like i told you guys i have a whole canva like doc of you know the concepts that i want to do just the overall look and stuff and set her some inspo and i was just like this is the look and feel guys. my fault hit the record but guys look look at this cake like and I'm one, I'm so proud of me for bringing it in the house, like, and not messing it up. Like, guys, like, guy, it looks like, honestly, looks like a wedding cake. Like, she, yeah, I sliced like a couple of them with like the box, but she did that. Like, it looks like a wedding cake. Looks like a wedding cake. But I'm going for like, a soft elegant look like you guys will see you guys will see the the look and the vibes that i'm going for but yeah so i'm home now i have a bunch of packages not a bunch but a couple packages to open up just let the kids 
room free, use the bathroom. I need to take Fenty to the groomers. So I'm gonna unbox these box, unbox these boxes, take Fenty to the groomer, then start getting glam because I was supposed to sleep with I was supposed to sleep with flexi rods in my hair per my stylist request and recommendation. Um, I went back to Beauty Depot and got flexi rods. Um, Cause I thought I was gonna come back home last night. So my hair is now what it is. So I have to redo, like y'all saw how like it was giving us today. So I was trying to preserve those curls, but did not. So I have to re, do my hair but I got duck clips and I have a big barrel curler so I'm going to curl it pin it first do my makeup and then um let them go to have like the look um the nice look that I'm going for so yeah let's open up these packages and then drop fancy and then start getting ready wireless mics for something that's up and coming something business wise that's up and coming this oh it must be the ring light tripod this is the longest box Amazon in their wasteful packaging yes the newer ring light tripod, newer sponsor your girl. I have all newer photography lights and ring light, but I needed a new tripod stand. Yes, so I can go set anything up. Okay, I'm gonna keep it in. Oh my gosh, almost. Chopped all my thigh. Right. Bring this in the garage. Honestly, I've condensed all of this packaging. I forgot literally everything that I have. What is this? Oh, sticky bra. What is this? Oh, extra battery packs for this camera. What is this? Oh, is this more sticky boob stuff? Yeah, more sticky boob stuff. But this is like a whole pack. It came with like this sticky bra. And then a whole bunch of other stuff, and then my back dress. Perfect! Right, we're back, and we're setting, setting up the set. And we have light. So finally got a tripod stand for my ring light. So I have all the lights ready to go. I have all my outfits on the rack ready. I just need to clean sweep this. And then we're back in business. So 
I'm gonna sweep this down, then start getting ready. And then I have my um, creative director assistant here. They literally <laughs> just called me. Well, they didn't just call me, but they called me a little before four to tell me that Fenty was done. So I was like, let me finish my makeup first. You guys, look at, I need like, this mine's natural. Lighting so you guys can see how it came out. Like, oh, I hate, it's the camera setting too. It like softens my face, but like, you can kind of see, oh, you can't really see because the camera, but yeah, like this is my makeup. I actually did like an eye, a natural look. Um, Maybe I'll do a tutorial on this. It's like a soft full glam, which is exactly what I'm going for. But no, um, I'm throwing on like something really quick. I said, let me at least finish my makeup. She's literally right around the corner, so I'm gonna grab her. And then we can all be home, which works out perfectly. I'm ready to be home, so all I have to do is take my pictures because I'm kind of running kind of late. Okay guys, we are full glammed up. I have like my hair curled into itself so then I can just comb it out. Um, I have me, Alexa! 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 Okay, well, Alexa doesn't hear me, but I put on some music to try to get me, like, going, like, ready to go, and we're about to bust out these three concepts. So, let's see now. This is what she does when it's, when it's shoot time. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. My makeup came out exactly how I wanted it to. My hair did not come out how my stylist did it. It came out even fluffier with the pin curls, but I love it. Um, so we're about to bust out this content and y'all are gonna see. Let me tell y'all, these, perfect. If you need something like, cause I have like a blazer look and no bra, bra kind of thing. And you need to like lift. I got like a whole bunch of like reinforcement boot kind of thingy magics because we want everything to look like good. You know what I mean? In every outfit. So I got a bunch of like pasty chicken cutlet variation tape. Like, yeah, I was very prepared. So. This is look number one. It's like a peekaboo, C, not C kind of thing. So we're gonna do this look first. This is the look that I'm, this is the concept that I'm gonna post first. Okay guys, we spruced up, fix up the hair because curls immediately fell. Curls had immediately fallen. So we spruced up a bit, got on outfit number two and we're ready to go. Okay, and last outfit, which is actually my backup outfit. It looks like so good on. And my hair fell, which it's okay because it's perfect for this dress. So, <sighs> we made it, guys. It's almost like seven o'clock, but we're doing good. So, gonna get this last outfit, and then I need to eat something, take the kids out, and then I actually have to do some maintenance tonight, but I'm gonna take a minute to just chill. And that is a wrap. Cake is still intact. Outfit, I didn't ruin any of the outfits. Makeup still beat. Hair fallen, but it's okay. Stomach growling, so it's time to eat. But I'm gonna go eat. I'm just glad the pictures are done so I can spend the night editing, editing this vlog. I'm gonna do my nails and toes later um, and then like unwind, but I'm gonna get out of these like nice clothes, um, go get comfy and go stuff my face and bring the kids out. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Monday. Um, Countdown to 25. 
I mean, it's already started. It's already started. Um, I'm still so damn tired. <laughs> like, I was supposed to go straight to bed, but of course, me being me, I'm like, you know what? Let me just edit all of the pictures instead of just the pictures that I was going to post at, at whatever times. Um, so I edited all the pictures, baby. Um, at this point, if you guys seen the video, you'll have seen just one of them. Yeah, you'll only have seen one of them, but you'll just have to see the other ones. I was going to say, I'll, I'll post all of them, but you'll just have to go on my Instagram and see um, all of them there when I post them there. But yeah, so I stayed up till like 1 o'clock editing the pictures. They came out like fire. Like, they came out fire. I'm so proud of myself. It literally started from a Canva board where I'm just, if you guys don't already know, I'm very type A. So I mapped it out literally. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it in the lighting. But I made a Canva board for every concept. that I thought of down to hair, makeup, nails, like everything. So I was like, I want a very, not a very specific, but I want a specific look, soft, elegant, stuff like that. Um, and you can embody, you can embrace, you can become whatever it is you desire, whatever it is you set your heart out to. So created the concept got what I needed to bring that vision to life. And I brought that vision to life in all three concepts. Um, with the hair, I didn't have my nails done, but I'm doing my nails today. I was supposed to do my maintenance last night. That, that, that didn't happen, nor was that happening. Like, time just got the rest of me. And I'm giving myself grace. So, that's what today is gonna be. I don't. I don't think no <clears throat> I don't have anything today but the rest of the week I have stuff to do so today we're gonna finish all of the maintenance and I'll take you guys into into the rest of today um and we're gonna do head to toe maintenance. I need to do my eyebrows, do deep skin care, do my nails, do my feet, my toes, body care, teeth, all of that. We're gonna do all of that today because it's Fran week. So we're starting off Fran week right. shower did my full body care routine um shower routine whatever you may want to call it um gosh i'm about to put my hair up because i just filled up the tub 
yeah i put this band on so bad i just filled up the tub and i'm about to soak my feet so i can give myself a good pedicure like shout out to all the diy girlies out there um that are doing eating here doing their own maintenance because listen it's a chore i know it's a chore we're giving up convenience for taking or utilizing more of our time. Um, so definitely shout out to all the DIY girlies. The question is, okay. Like the question is, where is my razor? We're gonna actually, guys, you're like seeing what goes on in my head out loud. It's hilarious. Okay, so I'm gonna use this ice ball, this aloe ice ball. Who it's cold, but it feels amazing um, on my face. So I can dermaplane with it, or my version of dermaplaning. Um, it smells so like refreshing. I just gotta let everybody know that comes over to my house wanting an ice cube that do not use yellow ice cubes. My gosh, my face is so hairy, but this feels like so soothing. Like I'm all for using like the natural things as like the aloe is like dripping off of my face. I would normally use like vitamin E oil cause that's just like a moisturizing oil. But I'm like, why not use aloe? I got it from the farmer's market for like nothing. Guys, if you have one, go to your farmer's market. Get fresh produce, fresh fruit, greens, herbs, all of that, unless you grow your own from the farmer's market if you can. You know, if you have the ability to, accessibility to get from your local farmer's market because I don't know what they be having in these grocery stores now. Stuff keeps getting recalled, all of that, you know. There's a lot going on in the world. So if you can, get from your local farmer's market. Get from your local farmer, like all of the above and in between. Dang, got brand new tweezers, brand new keys, I mean, Brand new whip, got no keys. Or whatever, you know, one of the Migos said, you know what I mean? Get you, I don't even know what these tweezers are. Yeah, whatever that brand is, but they're metal tweezers. It came with two, so I'm about to use this one and we're getting in the brows, baby. In the brows. Look at the difference. Eyebrows fresh and clean already. So I guess this device, it has three different functions. Lifting, moisturizing, and cleansing. So, oh my gosh. Packaging, guys. Packaging. Sealed up the thing. Oh, shoot. We in motion. Okay, there's like upward motions. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see if I do this right. Let me get my little face chart out. Line. I don't know. Honestly, I just seen this. Thought it was cool because I know it's supposed to be getting your pores. Whoa. Three hours later. 
You guys let me know the proper technique for this. But the face map shows all the same directions of everything. Hopefully it does cleanse my pores. Kind of hurts. I don't know, is this supposed to hurt? Oh yeah, I do see it picking stuff up. Okay, my face is very red. Can't really see it. Oh, well, let's like calm down. Looks like I busted up my nose, but yeah, you can tell. This camera, it's amazing, but not amazing in the same sense. I like, that That was like a healing pimple or whatever. Okay, now you can see like how irritated my face is now. Yeah. So, definitely not tore up my face, but I even did my forehead a bit. Um, but you can see my pores enlarge, stuff like that. We're gonna slap on a good face mask. I love a good tool slash gadget. Like, I'm a tool and gadget girl, and that's like in my house. Like, people that have been in my home know I have different tools, gadgets, and you know, tech stuff, techie stuff. Um, so we're going to put on a poor deep cleansing mask. Um, I have a video going over my nighttime skincare routine that has this mask um, shown. I use the Province Beauty Clay Mask. I try, I'm just a mess. I try to use clean beauty skincare products. Um, you know, just like I said, we're just trying to be healthy and better with ourselves internally and externally. Um, also, it's the Yuka app too. Like if you don't know what's in your products, I definitely recommend downloading the Yuka app. I'm gonna use these. This has um, their marine collagen eye patches. The only thing about these, like I said, yo, the packaging, like, oh, you know what? This one actually ripped. See, no, like, when you get here, it's hard to rip, but this one actually rips easier. But one thing I do like about this brand, Mari, Mary, um, it's marine collagen, so, you know, under the sea. Uh, hyaluronic acid and then pearl extract are all for, you know, the natural stuff straight out of the ocean using snail mucin, like, you know? When you go in the water, you go in salt water, you go in the ocean, oh, it's ripped. You go into the ocean, like that cleanses and purifies your body more than anything going into straight. I have a tool for this. I have a tool for this. That um, purifies and cleans your body better than like anything. Just going straight into salt water. Um, fun fact, if you did not know. We going into this birthday looking like glass skin, baby bottom smooth. And I'm gonna go in with my strawberry sugar food mask. Again, if you if you have not seen my nighttime skincare routine video, go watch that because I go in depth on all my Korean skincare stuff. Yeah, my face is still kind of damp, so spatula is not really working. So we're gonna do this to like exfoliate, really scrub, you know, whatever, whatever, but still like soothe the skin at the same time. Today, on the docket, we are using Colgate Optic White um, to brush our teeth <laughs> because we are shooting for optimal whiteness. Optimal. Teeth are brushed, about to go in, wash. I really wanna get uh, a water flosser. I heard great things. 
about that. So I think I'm gonna get one of those. Then I go on with Grin Tongue Scrapers. I usually just brush my teeth, I mean brush my tongue with my toothbrush, but sometimes I like to use these things. They're disposable, so you don't have the same thing. And then it also has like a toothpick thing on it too. This is what I don't do or haven't done in a while is whiten my teeth. Um, shoot. Maybe like a year ago, I whitened my teeth. But I really like this brand, Zimba Mint. It's a natural um, teeth whitener. I know there's so many different um, teeth whitening brands, but it comes in packs like this. This is a pack of 14. Um, and I like, you know, clean, natural brands. Um, or as clean and natural as possible, uh, just, you know, to protect your body and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so I think I saw on like a TikTok somewhere, or I might have just did, you know, my own research on this, but I don't know, I also just don't whiten my teeth all the time. It comes with two trays. Bro, I'm blind. So I just put the top tray in, and now I'm about to put, about to put the bottom tray in. Okay, I am. Um, Uh -uh. Nice and smooth. So for nails, I got these again. You guys can see. Um, I got these. I got these nails before. Um, back in like October. I really like them. They look so good. So like natural. Um. um they were doing it before. I don't know. But this is the KISS. The KISS Power Flex Precision Nail Glue. It's just a really good um, nail glue, especially for press-ons. But I got these nails, yeah, back in October because I was going on a trip, a business trip with my sister, and I didn't have enough time to do um, a full set. I do my own nails, as you guys know. Um, I do my own acrylics, but I do my own acrylics, and I didn't have time to do my own acrylics, so I just got these, and straight from beauty supply store. When I tell y'all, Kiss has been stepping it up, Press On Nails has been stepping it up beautifully. Just finished our nailies. Look at them. I let them um, sit underneath the light and then put some cuticle oil on them. But it's that time. Now I'm gonna use the TheraBreath. Um, now I can do this. Uh, my sister literally, when my sis, I would get on FaceTime with my oldest sister. She would like do the like TikTok nail influencer <laughs> nail thing with everything. Now I can do this now that I have nails, but I'm using the TheraBreath um, oil rinse, um, mild mint to just rinse all of this, 
off of my teeth and mouth. And now we get to go in with the serums. So we're going in, you guys already know, with the salicylic acid on the face. Just went to Ulta and re-upped on everything. Here we go with the, actually, okay, I think I actually do need to like rub it in first. Hold on. Going in too, too quick with the tools. And then I think now I can like really get it in. Yes, guys, like when I tell you I'm going deep into this skincare routine, I'm going deep into this skincare routine. I'm not, you say here somewhere. I'm not playing. Like, I'm trying to be glass skin glowing for 25. Um, the one, it's like a stone and it like shapes the face and you use it to like do kind of like the same thing, like sculpting kind of thing um yeah sorry i'm not too good with like pronunciations but i think that's how you say it um i need to get one of those too that it's kind of what like this is already the best part now, I'm gonna use this. The other one broke, so I only have one of these. Pop off. What is the matter, kid? You, sh you got everything that you need. Everything that you need. I go in with the ordinary mandelic. If it'll mandelic acid. Um, I have body acne. I'm not gonna say I suffer from back acne. I mean body acne because I'm not suffering. But I put this on my back and on my chest because that is where I get the most body acne um it just started coming out of nowhere um it's mainly when it's like sunny outside and hot outside direct sun exposure to my skin my skin does not like that whatsoever specifically my chest and back Yes, I do wear sunscreen, because I know that's going to be asked. Well, do you wear sunscreen? I do wear sunscreen, but still, my body's just, my skin, not even my body, is just super sensitive to um, the sun. So I start breaking out. Living in Florida, exposed to the sun, <laughs> exposed to the heat, a lot more times within the year than probably any anybody else. Living down south, period. You know, you're exposed to the sun, more than anybody else um so yeah it just kind of sucks to suck out here so we just protect our skin protect our bodies as much as possible um, i also go in with bio oil um bio oil guys bio oil the cost of bio oil i don't remember it being that expensive but bio oil is pretty expensive now um kind of crazy but it's pretty expensive um but i go in with bio oil on like my hips and thighs for these stretch marks and then going with good old fashion the african of the shea butter go in with this as you can see the bad boy has been used it it's been getting used because 
we like baby bottom smooth skin uh, just you know so I usually do this at night so then my skin can absorb it I have dry sensitive skin if y'all don't already know and it just absorbs everything so at night is when I like to slug and like layer on top of layer as you can see with my face but also with my entire body so I just get a glob of this how many times has Fran said so in a matter of 10 minutes um I just take a block of it rub it in and then lather it up all on my entire body my legs my arms my stomach everything everything we want to be glistening i'm literally glazed donut it up i got the socks on i put the um healing ointment on my feet and the socks on right quick because um i'm gonna go eat me something yeah i'm gonna go I'm gonna go eat me something <laughs> so my feet can sit and like lather up while I'm eating. I'm gonna go put this up in the freezer into the freezer. Body is nice and moisturized, but I feel good. I got everything done and it's only 10 o'clock. I am so proud of myself. We did this. I think I need to bring Leon outside again. His stomach has not been right. Someone's been bubbling. Um, he been pooping. He been pooping all day. Um, but yeah, we did this. We are all, okay, Papa, give me one second. Give me one second. Um, we are all prepped and ready to go for a birthday. So we have, you know, a day in between to let everything sit, settle and stuff. But I don't want to do anything tomorrow other than take a bath, drink me some bubbly and bring in my birthday. <laughs> so... I'm going to close this vlog out here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little chaotic all over the place, but you guys gotta kinda see a weekend in my life, how I prep for my birthday, just overall, you know, kind of big events with maintenance. It's all whole birthday photo shoots. Um, and yeah, so definitely feel free to like comment and subscribe if you like watching me my life my shenanigans and whatever else i have going on um and i will see you guys in the next video